Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, uh, back with the Nord Piano 3 today. And one of the greatest things that I keep emphasizing about the Nord Piano 3, or the Nord Stage 2, or the Nord Stage 2 EX, is that it is a sampling piano, meaning that whenever there's new samples available for new instruments like pianos or whatever, you can put them on your keyboard. So that is the coolest thing about Nord, and one of the reasons why they're a little bit pricey. Chord Kronos, that's another one that's a sampling keyboard. With other keyboards that are not sampling, whatever the sounds that are built into it at the time you buy it, that's the sounds you're stuck with for life. You cannot upgrade those. So, just last month, I did the... Uh, royal grand sample that nord released and that was an awesome sample this month and i guess they're on a roll because two months in a row they just released the steinway number no. one by chris main this is new as of this month now let me read you a little bit from their website about the uh steinway number no. one this is the first steinway forte piano the number no. one it was designed and constructed by the founder of the company, Heinrich Engelhardt Steinway, in 1836. It is also known as the Kitchen Piano, since it was crafted in Heinrich Steinway's kitchen in Germany. The Steinway No. 1 featured a new innovative type of action that allowed quick repetitions and leather-covered hammerheads, which produced a big sound. The soundboard bridge was made of one piece instead of two, which created a higher string tension and required a stronger case. Through this invention, Steinway made an important step forward in the evolution of the modern piano. More powerful, a richer tone, and able to be in better balance with an orchestra of that time period. In 2006, the Chris Main workshop at Belgium was the first and only to get the official authorization from Steinway & Sons to make a copy of this original instrument. This replica of the very first Steinway took 2,000 hours to complete, and x-rays had to be taken with the original to capture every tiny detail. With this replica, Mr. Chris Main realized the rebirth of a legend. The innovative number no. one from 1836 still exists in its original state at Steinway & Sons in New York. So how's that? So let's hear what it sounds like. Pretty cool, different. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.